Thanks for logging on to NewsWest9.com. I'm Storm Tracker 9 Meteorologist Damon Lee Lotus. Now, currently, most of West Texas and southeastern New Mexico is under a flash flood watch, and this is going to extend until late parts of tomorrow evening. And it's going to be for all of these counties right here highlighted in green. For our Storm Tracker 9 Future Track Radar, that hour by hour breakdown of the rainfall chances today, 8 o'clock this morning, we'll see scattered showers stretching between southeastern parts of New Mexico and right to the north of the Pecos River. So if you are going to be driving along Interstate 20 this morning, you are going to see a little bit of a slowdown as you're making your way into work. Now, as you go into the afternoon hours, by lunchtime we will see mostly cloudy skies to the south, but the highest chance of rain is going to be here across parts of the Permian Basin. And then as you go into the afternoon hours, these showers will continue to push off to the northeast, but as you're making that drive back home this afternoon, not only are you going to see a slowdown making your way into work, but by the afternoon commute time, Unfortunately, you're also going to see a slowdown making your way back home. Scattered showers stretching between Abilene, Big Spring, Midland, Odessa, even down into the Pecos area. But if you are going to be driving along Interstate 10, don't feel left out. We're also going to see some scattered shower chances between Fort Stockton, stretching through the Van Horn area. Now out to the west, these are going to be the showers that continue to push into our area for the evening and overnight hours. By midnight tonight, we will see some scattered showers and thunderstorm chances in southeastern parts of New Mexico. And these are going to be the scattered showers that continue to push to the east. So here for Big Spring, Midland, and Odessa, we're going to see the highest chance of rain and thunderstorms during early parts of tomorrow morning. But it's not just going to last tomorrow morning. Total rainfall that we're expecting here as we head throughout the rest of the week. For most of our area, for the central portions of the Trans-Pecos and most of the Permian Basin, we'll see anywhere between an inch to two inches of rain. But the further north you go, that's when we're going to see the higher rainfall totals. For parts of southeastern New Mexico and the northern portions of our viewing area, we're going to see some isolated areas up to three inches of total rainfall here for this week. For the storm impacts, because of that rainfall, we are going to bump up the flash flooding risks to a high. We're also going to see some gusty winds, winds gusting about 40 to 50 miles an hour. So that's why the wind risk right there is going to be at a moderate. But anytime you have slow moving, heavy rainfall, that's when you're going to see that flooding risk bump up. And also whenever you have extended periods of rainfall. Storm Tracker 9 day forecast, 79 degrees the afternoon high for today, but we'll see a 60% chance of rain, the highest during the evening hours. Highest chance of rain this week is actually going to be during tomorrow. We'll see an 80% chance of rain, and then we'll see the rainfall chances as we head throughout the rest of the work week, even to start early parts of your weekend. Highest chance of rain is going to be for Wednesday and Thursday, but by the time Friday, Saturday gets here, we'll still see some scattered shower chances. But as we head into late parts on Sunday, we're only going to see partly cloudy skies and temperatures will maintain in the 70s. I'm Storm Tracker 9 meteorologist Amy Lee Lotus. Enjoy the weather.